I started out the year learning short rows after spa last year at 2020. I purchased yarn from one of the vendors at the spa and then made this moth pattern version. You can see the difference here and the variation on the sides. And that was a really fun experience. It took quite a while, but learned a lot. I think I would pick different colors next time because it's a little brighter than I would like, but thoughts for next time. And then I did do quite a bit of spinning. So these are just some of the yarns I've spun using mostly fiber from my very favorite place, Inglenook Fibers. And really some lovely, lovely colors there. Also using some hand spun yarn from Inglenook Fibers. This was their 12 Days of Christmas Fiber, and this has a little bit of a sparkle in. I don't know if you can see that glint. Made a little cowl there. Another cowl with some more hand spun yarn. Then over the summer, I did the Casapinka Challenge and did another series of four colors of yarn for the Casapinka Scarf Knit Along. Turned out to have a lot of fun different techniques in the middle of it. And again, wasn't super thrilled with how these colors turned out, not something I usually would wear. So I tried to use some more natural fibers and colors and chose this slightly more neutral palette, also the same pattern. And that turned out pretty nicely too. I really like that. Um, the difference is this was a much thicker alpaca yarn. And so you don't see the detail um, that you would see with the finer yarn. Um, so they're each pretty in their own way. Most recently, I've been working on learning how to do Orenburg Russian lace shawl knitting. So I'm knitting an Orenburg lace warm shawl. So this is the course from Piecework and Interweave. And it has four separate borders, each of which has a separate inner border. And so I've had to learn how to do lace charts. And this is some of the charts for the borders. They tell you it's a six month to one year project. I can tell you I'm already nearly six months into it. And this is all I have done. That's one border, that's the second border, and then this is the start of the third border. So once you finish all four borders, and their little inner border section here. These join together at each of the corners, and then you add in the separate inner part in the middle, which also has a lace pattern in it. So looking forward to finishing that. Um, and I've been enjoying learning lace. It's really not hard. You just have to pretty much focus and pay attention, which is tough if you're trying to deal with kids and spouses and all the other background noise that can happen. So that's it for me for SPA so far this year. Thank you.